Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming with more Hearts of Iron 4 La Resistance playing as the Regional Defense Council of Iberia. We did spread the revolution up into France, so they have capitulated, which is absolutely hilarious. Fortunately, now we have to contend with Vichy France, but we did deny the German Reich a whole load of French factories and we took over a lot of that ourselves, so that's looking pretty solid right about now. So the question now is, do we focus our efforts on trying to take down the UK, or do we start trying to gain some more holdings over here in Africa? I am hoping that Vichy France will deploy some troops and actually free up this territory for me, in which case I don't really need to worry too much about it. So maybe we do focus some efforts against the UK. Alternatively, we take a break from all of that and say, can we indeed justify a war goal against the Guangxi clique a little bit faster? We can. 160 days is still a little bit long for my tastes, but there you go. We cannot take over Southeast Asia because Vichy France got all of that. I don't think the Netherlands has been called into this war, interestingly enough. I kind of don't want them to. Because the Germans are not going to worry about going through the Low Countries, that gives me an opportunity to kind of fabricate my own war and attack them. Preferably without them joining the Allies, so we don't have to share the war score with the German Reich. That might mean capitulating the UK first, and then having our own claims to just jump into a war real quick. Maybe. Not sure for uh, an absolute fact. Let's go ahead and send some troops over here to Luxembourg. I would happily just take that myself. Though I suspect the Germans are just going to march on in there because I doubt they have any real reinforcements. But for some reason, they just don't seem to give a crud about Luxembourg. I don't think I really understand the reasoning behind all that, but all right. Um, something I'm going to do. I'm going to take you guys, and we're not going to do convoy raiding. We're just going to patrol, and I'm going to tell you guys to never engage. And try to just go ahead and get me some intelligence of the English Channel. That's all you're here to do. Subs that are hard to detect, please don't get detected, find out what's going on. Can we set up some sort of a naval invasion in the UK while he is probably fairly weak? Uh, what I'd like to do is probably set up in Cornwall to start me off. I don't have enough uh, offensive infantry, but that's fine. Why can't I assign you? Do I not have any naval invasion tech? I might not, actually. I do. I should be able to send 10. There you go. Okay, yeah, I can. I think the problem is that some of these guys might have been exiled or something. Okay, send some more defensive infantry, I guess. Ten. There we go. So it's going to take me 70 days to prepare, and I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get the naval superiority that I need. Rudolf Hess is dead. Okay. But if we can find a way to get in here, get around to Plymouth, Truro, and so on, that would be great. Um, what we actually should probably do is set up another invasion right here. So we can try to get around. Well, is that different sea zones? That might be a different sea zone. Maybe we can't do that. Hang on. Not here. Can we set up here, perhaps? Nope. Uh, here, then. No? Um, ports are in awkward places. I guess I could try setting up here and run to Plymouth. Just a little concerned, but I want to have some other reinforcements that can attack by land. We just got to be able to move fast if we're going to do this. Okay, these guys are getting confused because they're stuck in, like, Vichy France territory and stuff. Get out of here. Go somewhere else. Hey, Luxembourg is pushing. What? No, get get into Metz. You get, you get the heck in here. Okay. Well, no, it looks like the Germans are indeed trying to attack. I can stack up more troops over here, no problem. What are you going to do? Now, the Germans are going to take Luxembourg. They had the they had the movement first, I'm pretty sure. So they're going to get it. That's fine, though. Modify government. What would I want? Well, division recovery rate would be helpful. Material designer. It's a little bit late for this. We've already researched everything on time right now. Artillery research speed plus 15% is okay. Support unit research speed. Hmm. I kind of like the recovery rate. Tank designer won't do me a lot of good. It's very generic. I can't go off of volunteer only. Not allowed. 
Could swap over to a different advisor, but I think we've got everything we can get. Everyone else is kind of locked out. Um, I'm going to go for the uh, division recovery speed. I do think that that would be helpful overall. Okay, what's going on? Okay, hang on. We're in one of those weird situations where I need to set up a fallback line to trick the AI into pulling some guys off of here since I'm selecting the right people, but it doesn't know how to transfer. There we go. See? And that's how it works. Okay, the rest of them are going to go over here, which is fine. I want them in a good reinforcement position. You guys are doing everything you can here against Luxembourg. Looks to me like the Germans are beginning to make a successful push. These guys are going to be gone, which means we don't have to worry about them attacking me from the back door. Um, where are going to be my subs? Where are they? Oh, wait, we actually have some problems right here. Um, so I don't want you to be doing this anymore. You've landed here? You have a navy set up here. Well, hello. Huh. Am I worried about this? Not really. I mean, I don't like it, but I'm not worried about it. Can you guys successfully redeploy to, let's say, the Bay of Biscay? Safely. Is that a thing that you can do? You are unable to reach it. But my subs can. Hmm. Okay, well, either way, I still want intelligence over here. Um, can I build, let's say, some radar towers or anything? Uh, I don't have the tech for that. Never mind. Luxembourg capitulates. Good, so they're gone. You guys are going to set up another fallback line, let's say, right here. Just so we can run across as needed. I could set them up on coastal defense, prevent the uh, English from doing anything I don't like, but... I don't think we're going to worry about that right now. So, the subs have arrived. They've spotted something. Looks like some Greeks. We definitely don't have the naval supremacy. Yeah, fighting the English is going to be a little tough. Just because there's no good way of me getting over there. Absolutely no naval supremacy. I could try deploying my air force over here and see if this helps. Still don't have the air superiority. Well, now we do. If we can possibly bomb some of his stuff, that would help. Why are we losing... We're losing subs. Oh, he's got a frick ton of bombers. All right. This is a runaway moment. Yeah, so uh, we don't have anything that we require in order to do this, and we're just losing subs because the English have very intelligently been assigning loads of bombers to uh, just obliterate everything that comes through. You guys need to hold as well, probably. I don't want to lose all this. So there's no good way for me to do this, is basically what I'm learning. Um... Hmm. I guess we could try to retake our territory. Or what we need to do is just sort of sit back and put down resistance for a bit and hope that we can plant the seeds of revolution and get the English to join me voluntarily. That is a thing we could do. It's time to upgrade you again. Where's my spy currently? He's doing nothing. Hang on. Let's try spying in England, and we'll build up the naval departments, and I'm going to try to get some intelligence on where his navy is located and what they're doing. Let's see if that actually works and does me anything good. Yeah, naval invasion here is prepping, but what good is it? Really, though. So what I'm going to do is then go ahead and pull you guys off of this. We're going to set up a new naval invasion order from here down to, let's say, here. I'm going to take... Pretty much everybody who was assigned, leave behind one of each, I guess. Move them over here. That way we can actually set up some troops over here. 
There we go. And we're going to try to retake our territory up in Morocco. We should have plenty of compliance there, so it's just some factories we'll get back. Might as well. Dismantle the Maginot Line. Uh, no, I'm going to keep that. <laughs> that could be helpful against the Germans in the future. Huh. We do have 63 factories. I could actually work toward getting another research slot. With our Torchbearers of Tomorrow being done. Which would be helpful. We do have shared burn, uh, burdens, which does reduce consumer goods. That could be helpful. I would like the inevitable counterblow because it gets me a lot of states for manpower. But what I need is a lot of factories, believe it or not. Still, militarizing the people, more recruitable population, land doctrine, anarchism knows no bounds. War goal time, then uh, global defense council. Seeds of revolution. Transfer and coring of any foreign controlled states that have sufficiently high compliance. And anarchist uprisings. If we can set up something here in the UK, that would obviously be huge. Or in Ireland, that would give me an opportunity to get in there. But until we know a heck of a lot more about the English Channel and try to get some sort of uh, naval supremacy there, I just don't see anything good happening. Alright, we're not training anymore. Um, we do have some light tanks that we captured. Still mostly missing out on artillery, but we actually have enough equipment so that I can continue training up more regular infantry. I'm going to train up three for now. We'll do this once. These guys get assigned here to get them up to 24. And then we'll continue training up, let's say, six more for now. And just keep going as many as you can. Uh, for the time being. And yeah. Eesh. This is an awkward position to be in. Um, how are factions doing? The Allies are still fighting pretty hard over in the Balkan region. The Germans should be able to beat down Czechoslovakia. I don't know why they haven't. We should have some extra troops set up against Belgium. Because if the uh, Germans ever do finish against the Czechs, it wouldn't surprise me if they use their war goal to take out Belgium. At which point we want to be able to push through here and try to take it. I forgot that uh, we have Heinrich Himmler leading over there, which I think is just kind of funny. Go ahead and set up a lot of troops over this direction. I want to be able to push hard. Don't need that fallback line for now. Let's just go ahead and get a bunch of people assigned. I can even justify my own war goal and just push. But again, if I can somehow end this war and fight these guys separately without them joining the Allies as a faction, that would be ideal for me, because then I guarantee that I take it and the Germans don't. You need 56 days to do this naval invasion. We do have a navy that can try to get me some sort of superiority. Uh, one th other thing that we could do... Set up another naval invasion order from here to here. Let's go ahead and take half of you, assign there, then assign here, then delete this. Okay. If I can get the Naval Supremacy, we can just get this out of here. Naval Department is done. Okay. Um, I'd like to learn a bit more about your armies as well. Let's get some more intelligence of the UK. We're up to 12% spy network. We have a little bit of information about his fleet. Of course, he's going to have plenty. He's got four fleets in total with uh, 10 to 17 task force. He's got about somewhere between 226 and 322 ships, which is a lot. A coup in Romania. Ooh. Also, the Soviets declared war on Turkey. And Legionary Romania has just swapped over to fascist. They're still a member of the Allies, though. Wh how is that supposed to work? They're also fighting against the Soviets. So Romania is in a weird position. Okay. Well, the Axis is looking a lot stronger all of a sudden. I feel like they've got a pretty good chance. Germans are working on something, but we don't know what. Okay. Okay. The United Kingdom has called in Greece. Is the UK fighting the Soviets? They are. Oh, my. Because they're defending Romania. <laughs> All right, so the Soviets and the Axis are now fighting the Allies together. Turkey falling to the Soviets is a weird call. I'm not opposed to it. It's just weird. Huh. 
Torchbearers of Tomorrow is done. Do I want the research slot, or do I want to start working toward militarizing the people and get things like this? The research slot is huge. It really is. I think I have to do the research slot. Could get me a pretty big advantage. Just trying to get all that tech. Turkey joins the United Kingdom. Not the Allies, just the United Kingdom. Okay. Yeah, so Turkey's now officially a member of that faction. So here I am, enjoying being factionless, fighting the Allies, but not having to worry about everyone else. The Allies are in a weird position. France has fallen which means they've lost all of their current gains. They're losing the Czechs, they are losing Romania, they're losing Yugoslavia, Greece, and so on. They're fighting the Soviets. I mean, yeah, over time, the UK is going to lose. My question is, what the crud am I going to freaking do about the English Channel and how am I going to do a naval invasion? Paratroopers. That is one way to try to get around this if we had air superiority, but I'm obviously not producing enough planes for that to be very functional at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and pull off of this factory just so we can continue working on artillery. Since artillery is still what I am currently missing, we have not a lot of manpower left. That is admittedly an issue. I'm not losing much in the way of manpower right now, but we aren't gaining much either. Um, Alright, so we can do both of our naval invasions if I can get some supremacy. We are going to do naval invasion support in this region. You're not holding any more. Hold up. Cancel that. Why aren't you getting out? There you go. Naval invasion support. They're not. It's because I haven't launched one. Um, can I launch one, though? Not until we have a bit more. We only have 20% naval supremacy, so I need to do some more stuff. Uh, let's move the planes down here. Get ready to do some bombing. I want to do port strikes and stuff. We do know that the British have deployed a small Navy task force over here. We can try bombing them in port. If I can get the air superiority, which I think we have. The subs are on the way. They can actually help produce some um, naval supremacy just by doing some patrolling. Let's do patrols over here as well. Still not going to have enough naval superiority. Only 20%. Are we just not covering enough ground? Is that the issue? Oh my god! We have spotted the freaking British Navy. They've got a huge force over here. No wonder I can't land. This definitely feels like a runaway moment. And we've got plenty of British... Okay, yeah, no. Navy thing here? Uh, this sounds like a big nope to me. We haven't lost anything yet, but, I mean, we can't contend with this. He's trying to do a naval invasion order. Where? Where are you going? I think they're going over to Tortosa. I'm gonna ask you to do a rapid redeploy up over here now. I'm gonna see if we can possibly fight them back. Uh, we have another trait. You actually got Organizer. I think you may have gotten that for free. Lena has nothing else she can use. Field Marshal has nothing else he can use. Alright. So we're gonna try to stop you from going anywhere. Uh, where are you going? Where are you trying to deploy? Oh, they landed here instead. Oh. Admittedly, that's unfortunate. Alright. Nothing we can do about naval, uh, defense at this point. We're going to try to guard the coastlines where possible. Because I can't go anywhere or do anything. Yeah, I'm stuck. I am 100% stuck until something changes. The status quo needs to break. Um, let's go for some more passive defense. We're trying to get some more upgrades so I can get a second spy. Should have a little bit more intelligence now of the UK. We have narrowed it down a little bit. They have less ships than I thought they did. But not by a large amount. Don't know how many troops you've got. Probably a fair bit. Uh, looks like Romania is getting absolutely obliterated. 
improved computing machine is done. Okay, so that's more research speed for me. Uh, it's only June of 1940. Armored cars are nice, but I can't support them. We're going to go for the recon. Let's go for some basic upgrades to my troops at this point. And yeah, we're just going to hold on to this and make sure the uh, British don't do anything I don't like. I don't know if we have enough troops for this, but... Let's just try to set up. And as we train up more troops, we can fix that. These guys are still going to sit here ready to fight Belgium in the event that we need it, but uh, yeah. They are led by the Catholic Bloc. Interesting. Switzerland, of course, is still not involved in anything. We could actually try to attack uh, Switzerland. That'd be fun, but... At this point, all we're doing is buying time. I'm going to sit back and just enjoy building up some compliance with the French. Try to build up my economy uh, a little bit. Wait for the UK to present an opportunity, and then pounce. And pounce hard. I'm going to go ahead and research and upgrade for our fighters, because I would like to have better quality fighters. Still no decisions that I really want to take at this point. War propaganda doesn't do me any good. 0% stability doesn't matter, because I have a collectivized society. So that easily makes up for that. Research slot is on the way. Can try to get some sort of a tech advantage. Concealment would help a little bit for reducing the effect of the enemy air superiority, which is going to be hard for me to contend with. Um, how are we doing with our compliance? Free France has a fair bit. We are up to 6%. Still doing civilian oversight. It would make sense to me if, uh, for thematic reasons, the Regional Defense Council of Iberia is not allowed to do any of the harsher methods and they only can do civilian oversight. That would make sense, I think. But oh well. Um, I would like to get radio detection, because if I can build a few, that gets me a little bit more intelligence of the region and helps me get more naval supremacy. That is an advantage that the UK has over me, pretty obviously. Uh, <laughs> man, we are stuck. And we don't even have a lot of manpower. The more resistance to occupation we have, the worse it's going to get. We've got a load of steel all of a sudden. Let's stop uh, importing. We don't need to do that. I guess we did get a lot from the, uh, the French. We should continue with our deep battle. I'm going to go ahead and continue spending some army experience. We're not using any tanks right now, so I don't feel a need to spend that on any additional variants. I just want to continue getting as many of these benefits as possible. Pretty significant. An enemy agent has turned. Well, that's good, I guess. A British spy. Hmm. Once I have access to another spy, uh, using that would be huge. Do I want to go for suicide pills? Yes. Let's go ahead and get suicide pills so that if we are detected, we're less likely to have a captured spy that I can't retrieve. Yeah, a, a double agent will mean that I can get my uh, intelligence of the UK a lot more effectively. That could be helpful. There's not a lot that I can do as far as like really screwing with the UK. It's just a matter of getting some useful intelligence. We know a little bit about them. They've got a pretty good amount of factories and stuff that I'd love to take. We know that they've got a pretty good number of divisions, but a lot of those will end up being colonial. Don't know much about their air force at the moment, unfortunately. German Reich declares war on Poland. Okay, so the next faction, uh, Mietzemortz, is being attacked. That's fine, I guess. The Germans are focusing their effort on everything but the Low Countries. At this point, I'm tempted to say let's just go ahead and get a uh, war goal against them. Because even if we do have to share some war score, I could just use the occupation and some factories right now. We need it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, field hospitals would be pretty good. I do have some motorized to go around. Learning how to make medium tanks would be pretty good. Could go for some ahead of time light tanks instead, if we want to go down that route. But I think the mediums are better long term. That said, they're more expensive and I can't afford them. Light tanks I could almost afford. Hmm. Hmm. We could go for landing craft, which lets me do much larger naval invasions. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Reason being, we may find ourselves in a position... Let's go for this, by the way. I'm out of manpower. Uh, we may find ourselves in a position where we actually do have an opportunity to attack the UK, and I want to flood them with troops. That could very well happen. So it's going to be a little before I can do anything against Belgium. We are holding the coastlines, for the most part, around the uh, Iberian Peninsula, mainly holding on to ports. 
So even if the UK does land, they'll have no supplies and we can just beat the snot out of them. Lena should be feeling fairly confident about this. She doesn't have a lot of intelligence, so she says she doesn't feel good about it. But I mean, we've got a pretty good planning bonus going. I think we'll be fine. Not enough manpower for our garrisons. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Could cancel some troops, but I want to keep training these guys if at all possible. We should make sure that garrisons are getting the highest priority right now. Because it is imperative that we continue building up our compliance in Free France and stop that resistance from becoming a problem. It is still building up a fair bit. I'm not going to lie, the French are going to become a problem for me pretty quick if I don't stop them. We could swap away from civilian oversight. Local police force would actually help me as far as my garrisons since I don't have enough right now. And also reduce their target uh, resistance. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Should free up a little bit more manpower so we can actually fulfill those garrisons. Suicide Pills is done, which I think means we do have another spy on the way, which we do. Good. Anti-partisan root out resistance could be helpful right now. I'm going to go ahead and start working on that. We may need that to help put down the French for a little bit until we get some more compliance. Making some progress on building up our civilian factories. Slowly but freaking surely, we are building up some. Gosh, we are so weak. We have the potential to become phenomenally powerful. We really do. Depending a lot on how this whole Seeds of the Revolution thing works. I'm hoping that we're going to have pretty high compliance for some of these states, and we can just go ahead and core things. Right now, the Regional Defense Council of Iberia is only at 29%. I'm surprised it's not higher. It is producing a pretty good amount of manpower, though. And 100% and everything, so even at 30% compliance, we're gaining all the effects we want. It's just costing me a teeny weeny garrison, that's it. No biggie. The Anarchist Commune is challenging Belgium and their uh, superiority, yep. Volunteers from several places. Nope, sorry, Belgium is sending volunteers in several places, that's fine, weaken yourself. Hello, okay, uh, this is where we need to quickly redeploy. All of you, rapidly, get ready to encircle these guys. Don't let them take anything. If they do try to take a port, we need to stop them. They're trying to land here. Okay. And there. Hang on. Okay, they landed. Uh, we need to go and attack them. Okay, they actually got some ports. Now we have a problem. They can start siphoning over loads of troops very quickly if we're not careful. Uh, he's got tanks. Okay. Yep, the British are doing a major invasion. We have troops that have deployed. For some reason, he seems to have backed off. So I'm going to go ahead and try to take his ports. Okay, we got the ports down, which means whatever he did send over here is now dead. Okay. Well, that was easy. Um, I guess we'll just keep that for now. No reason to have these uh, naval invasion orders yet. No reason to sit on Belgium right now. That was probably my mistake, but we recovered it from that no problem. I'm going to go ahead and start researching the medium tanks. I do think that I still ultimately want to use those. And I'm going to go ahead and increase the front line here. I'll just go ahead and spread out. Anti-partisan is done. Uh, we're going to go for another level of that. We can get another spy. We're going to get the British double agent. With demolitions expert. Mm. But could be helpful eventually. You are going to help root out resistance. In all of northern France. And that, hopefully, will help start burning these guys down. Or at least stop them from getting any higher. So I stop costing myself all of my precious manpower. We do have some more troops. You guys get assigned here. You guys are going to join it with a new army. With a new leader. I guess you'll do fine. We got a trait. Well, you have a slot, but nothing you can learn. Alright. Change your color to something else. And how about you start doing area defense along these areas. And your goal is to primarily protect the coastlines and the ports. As we continue to fill you out with more troops, you'll be able to hold this area. Outdated equipment. Fighters. Yes. Can we upgrade you at all? No. We're just going to go ahead and produce the better version, then. 
We'll lose eight days of production. I think I'm just gonna have to live with that. We're not producing very many fighters, like, at all. Only one factory is not doing a lot. Still. Is something. Could prepare some stuff against the UK. Civilian administrations and so on. Plant some false intelligence. Scare them a little bit. Make resistance contacts, but I'm not sure how much good that does me. Vichy France has still done absolutely nothing. We've lost all of our territory down in Africa. Yeah, not a lot we can do. I'm surprised the Germans are insisting on attacking Poland when they still haven't finished these guys off. What is taking you so long? If I were in charge, you'd already have Czechoslovakia down. Yes, I know they've got the Sudetenland and it's scary. I get it. Seriously, something's freaking wrong with you, dude. Should be fine. Resistance is still going up because I do not have enough garrison. Yeah, this is why we need the inevitable counter blow. So I can try getting some states and some manpower. Desperately. We may have to stop training any troops and start changing a lot of our... Um, garrison policies in order to make this work. Militarize the industry, all that seems good. Faith in the cause, yes, the people's fleet, don't need that. Militarize the people, more recruitable population, that's what we need. Uh, military police would help, since manpower appears to be what I am mainly lacking. Um, we are prioritizing the garrisons, so no manpower is being prioritized over here, so that's fine. We've actually got enough equipment for once. Anarchism successful, despite some time elapse, uh, having elapsed since the conclusion of the Spanish Civil War. The expected implosion of the anarchist communes in Iberia has not come to pass. To the contrary, the communes have reportedly succeeded in stabilizing and rebuilt the region, and continue to attract like-minded immigrants from nations across the world. In light of continued international hostility, the communes, however, have elected to organize under their defense council and continue on a course of extensive armament programs. So we are still recovering from the Civil War. I'd love to get rid of that. It will go away in four years. Um, do we have decisions now to go ahead and turn some stuff into states? Doesn't look like it. I don't think we actually had enough compliance to turn things into states. That said, resistance is still ticking down in a few areas. Nowhere's really costing me much. I mean, I guess we have Portugal costing me a little bit of a garrison. Could try putting this down. Local police force. It's not worth a lot, but it's a little bit of manpower I can feed over somewhere else. 40% resistance now. We don't quite have the informants I need. Given that this is still an issue, what I think I need to do now is go ahead and pull this spy off and try rooting out resistance elsewhere. Let's go over uh, here, I guess. Still not making a lot of progress here, but I'm trying. I'd love to reduce the um, target resistance level a little further, but I wouldn't be able to enforce it, so I don't think it would have the desired effect. If we don't find a way of getting some more manpower now, we are not going to be able to hold on to what I've got. I might actually have to disband some troops. I'm going for more anti-partisan, which will help. Make my spies a little bit more effective. There we go. Good. Anything else we need right now? Um, cryptology would be good. Let's go ahead and get started on that. And it is enough to start putting down some resistance in a couple of target areas, so that did help a little bit. But if we don't burn down that resistance and get enough compliance, we have some local police forces via this at 25% compliance. I'm not sure how good we're going to do. We might be in trouble. We might be in a lot of trouble. I want to build a more compliance, but we have to do this. The rest of these guys are negligible. Yeah, um, this is tough. This is proving to be a lot tougher than I was expecting. Um, still, we're trying. Getting down to the extra recruitable population here would be helpful. And then we need to start planting the seeds of revolution and try to get the UK to join me willingly. I'm hoping that ends up being a little bit like compliance governments, but we'll find out. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. All right. Let's go ahead and do it.